things I like more than sitting outside on a clear night looking at the moon in the sky above. Your planet Earth does present us with some beautiful sights, doesn't it? Would you like to know more about the moon? Follow me then! Most of the planets in our solar system have moons, or natural satellites as astronomers call them. Some planets have several of them, like Jupiter that has 79! That's a lot of moons! But the Earth only has one, and it's very special. Not to mention beautiful! It shines so brightly because it reflects the light coming from the sun. The moon orbits the Earth, which is the same as saying it goes around it. At the same time, it spins. Together, the moon and Earth orbit the sun. The moon is about 380,000 kilometers away from Earth, and it's almost spherical, shaped like a ball. But it doesn't always look like a ball in the sky, does it? That's because of the phases of the moon. Come with me so I can show you how it works. It takes the moon about a month to go around the Earth. The different shapes, or phases, appear as the moon goes around the Earth and is illuminated differently by the sun. Let's see how it looks from the northern hemisphere of our planet. When the moon is in the same direction as the sun, it can't be seen at night. This first phase is called the new moon. Seven days later, when the moon is a quarter way through its orbit, half of the illuminated part of the moon is seen from Earth. This phase is called the first quarter. It looks just like a capital D, doesn't it? Halfway through its orbit around the Earth, 14 days after we started counting, we see the full moon. As you might have guessed by now, this is my favourite phase of the moon, when we can see it in all its glory. Look at that! When we reach 21 days, we're three quarters of the way around and we see the last quarter moon. Now it looks like a D, but backwards. If you are on the southern hemisphere, you see the moon reversed and the moon phases look a bit different. It's like looking at the moon with your head upside down. After a full orbit around the Earth, the moon is back in its starting position and we start all over again. So, the moon is always there, but we just can't see it all of the time. Want to hear another cool thing about the moon? The moon's orbit is tilted. This means that the moon, the Earth and the sun are not always perfectly aligned, but when they are, something amazing happens! An eclipse! Eclipses are magical experiences. The moon can block the sun completely from view and make it seem to disappear from the sky. This is called a total solar eclipse. There is also another type of eclipse, the lunar eclipse. Now the Earth is between the sun and the moon. The Earth blocks nearly all the sunlight, but some still reaches the moon and makes it look beautifully red. Next time you go outside, look up at your beautiful moon. What do you think awaits us there? Join me for our next space adventure to find out. So, today we learned that the moon is the Earth's natural satellite. The moon spins while also orbiting the Earth. Together, they orbit the sun. It takes about one month for the moon to go around the Earth. The moon has different phases and we see it differently throughout a month. When the moon, Earth and sun are aligned, we can have lunar and solar eclipses. <laughs>